ドキドキなのですよ。Hey you guys, welcome back to part two of my overall look video. Part one was a review on this hair that I'm rocking currently. Part two is the beauty look that I'm gonna do. And not only that, you guys are gonna be getting an update from me of what I've been doing for the past year that I've been away out of YouTube. So, if you guys are ready, get your tea, put on your seatbelt, we're gonna be getting it. Oh, by the way, I saw there are some new subscribers. For the new subscribers, thank you so much for joining my channel. If you haven't seen from my title of my channel, this channel is going to be about Japanese culture, beauty, like skincare, makeup, hair, and just overall fun.、Um, I'm going to do some vlogging. So my channel is like a little bit all over the place, but. Best of belief, we're gonna have some fun on this channel. This is every reason why you should subscribe, besides seeing this lovely face. <laughs> for those of you who are an oldie, thank you for staying with me and for holding on so long. I know I had you guys waiting, but、uh, thank you. It means so much to me, and I won't let you down this time. So, without all ado, we're gonna hop right into this video. I just came back home and took off、uh, a day's worth of makeup to put on a day's worth of makeup. So, we're gonna hop right into it right now, right? When I go out, before I put primer on my face, I do put sunscreen to protect my face from the UV rays. Your girl's trying to stay young, so <laughs> I do put sunscreen, but because today I'm not going out and this is purposely just for the video, I am going to start off with primer. This is from Wet n Wild, and this is their matte matte primer from Photo Focus, right?、Um, I love this stuff, so I don't, I don't really have much to say. Just go buy it if your face is oily. Another thing, I have oily to combination skin, so usually in my T zone, I get very oily, and then on the sides, I'm usually not dry, but you know, my skin is pretty normal.、Um, Um, so, yeah, where do I begin? Oh my god, I have a list. <laughs> I have a list just so that way I can like pinpoint of what I've been doing. So, as you guys may or may not know, I was going to school for some time and then I had to stop due to financial reasons,、um, which was really hard for me because. I am a person who just wanted, especially when it came to school, I just wanted to finish. I didn't want to like have a break in between because I had these goals that I wanted to do and I felt like I was getting way too old. <laughs> so, this break that I had to take took at least a year. As that year was going past, I was working my butt off.、Um, I had two jobs. And. Get back into school, and I finally raised up enough money to pay whatever I had owed to the school. Also, with the help of my family, thank you, family, if you're watching this, for helping me so much to me,、um, and it still d o mean a lot to me、um, to just be able to like get back in and and just go to classes. You get what I mean? I didn't mention this, but this is gonna be an affordable look because your girl ain't got no money. <laughs> So, we're gonna do everything affordable, but you're still gonna have a very like a high quality look to this, okay?、So、we're gonna use the LA Color Truly Matte, another fave that I like. So, yeah, I get back into school, and the thing was first was to figure out how many classes I need in order to graduate. So, I realized that I needed 11 classes. To be full time in school, you have to take four classes. So, because I had 11, I had to figure out how, I'm gonna, how am I going to distribute the classes within one year because that's the time that I wanted to finish school. I just wanted to have two more semesters and to get out. So, I wound up taking four classes my first semester back. And as crazy as it's going to sound, I took six classes for my last semester in school. <laughs> 
And you guys are probably gonna be looking at me like I'm crazy, but I took six classes for my last semester in school. Getting back into school was not as easy. I came up with the money last minute. When I say last minute, literally it was like a day or two before classes start. And I was so worried that I wasn't gonna get a class or anything. I was more worried that I wasn't gonna be able to go to school for that semester. But then I did a late registration and I applied for all the four classes that I had needed. When you transfer to a four-year college from a two-year college, you must take a language class. So I wound up taking Japanese 203 and performing art class. I took Japanese cinema and a Spanish literature class. Those were my four classes my first semester back, which none of them were, well, okay. Let's put it like this. For Japanese 203, that class was really scary for me because I did not want to set, fail it again. I know I'm coming out light, but isn't this isn't this foundation good though? Like, I don't know, I like it. I like it a lot. Anyways, Japanese is not was not easy for me. It was really hard. Um, I had took Jap I had taken Japanese 101 and 102 at uh, my first college, and I wound up passing those classes just because I took Japanese in high school. Um, I'm gonna go on again with LA Colors. Um, this is the Mineral Press Pressed Powder. <laughs> This is the minimal press powder. I don't know what's going on with me. My brain is in 12 places at one time right now. This is what happens, right? I already knew how to write in Japanese, which was easy for me. I, I knew um, the basic sentence, sentence structure. I knew, I knew a lot more stuff than any other language. So I decided to take Japanese 203 again, which was really, really scary for me because I was just like, I need to pass this class this time. I can't fail this class this time. If I fail this class, this is gonna hold me back dramatically. And the, 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 another thing about Queens College, or I think four-year colleges in general in New York City, I have to wait until the next fall time to take that class. So I was not about to fail that class because there was no way I was staying until fall time to take that class. So. I took the class. That's to believe your girl was studying like no tomorrow. Every week there was a kanji test and every week I was like, I'm on it. I'm studying. I worked my butt off for that class. Let me tell you. Oh my god, my headband has brownness on it. I think what made it also easy was the fact that I had friends there from my previous college and they just helped me we helped each other every time there was like a quiz or you know a group project we were always there for each other so that gave me that gave me so much courage to just do um and i wound up getting a, a really good grade at the end of the class yeah so that was that class i don't know why i mentioned that class. i guess i mentioned that class because Japanese is such a big part of my life. Japanese culture and um, the language, I didn't want to give up on it. All honesty, I learned through friends. I don't really learn through school settings. I feel like things can get really crammed in your head. Like, you know, like when you're studying, like you're trying to fit everything in your head. Um, and you're not really like using it, but you're using it a little bit. You get what I mean? So I am more of a learner when it comes to just talking to my friends and learning phrases and words through my friends. So that's why I told myself, I don't think I would ever take another language class again, unless I'm in that country where I'm using it all the time. Anyways, Long story short, I passed the class. I was very excited about that because that was something that I didn't think would happen and it did and I'm just like, yes. Um, another class that I took that meant a lot to me was my performing arts class. I'm just going on with a regular eyebrow pencil, probably from the dollar store. Long story short, because I can go on really long with this. Um, for that class, I thought performing arts would be something like 
me having to dance. And after leaving that class, I realized that performing arts is a lot different. The strongest message I learned from that class is that there's power in what you do. One of the projects that we had to do was upload a video and have people respond to that video, whether it was negative or positive, and then share that experience, right? So you're performing because you're uploading that video, but um, you're getting a reaction from the audience, and that is what performing artists do. They get audience involved into their message, right? Um, I'm, I don't know if that's making any sense because my brain isn't really producing what I'm trying to say. But yeah, that was another class that I was like really involved in um, and did some research about. And I, I really learned a lot from that class. And then the other two classes was Spanish literature, which I got to learn and like the like, history kind of of like different Spanish cultures and then Japanese cinema which was taught by my favorite professor and yeah so that was my first semester wasn't that bad I was still doing two jobs while busting down four classes um, it was a lot for those of you who may or may not know I am a college assistant I also teach art at an after school program so it required me to like kind of let go of my social life. Uh, I was studying a lot and if I wasn't studying I was working and if I wasn't working I was coming up with lesson plans for the after school program. That was the first semester coming back. The second semester, the last semester, was the hardest semester ever. And here is why. I decided to take six classes because I did not want to pay for two extra classes for the fall time. I don't even know where to begin with this because, yeah. The idea never came across until I was talking to my friend and he was telling me that he was taking seven classes. And to me, I was like, are you, are you? Are you serious? Seven classes? Like, I've never heard such a thing. Like, that is absurd. You are crazy. And he was just like, yeah, well, any class after four is free. So if you register for four classes and you decide to take two or three more, they're free, right? So to me, that was like magic in my ear. And so I understood why he decided to take seven. Not only that, he just wanted to finish. I just want to finish. So I asked him, do he recommend me taking, you know, seven classes in one semester? And he was like, I highly don't recommend you taking seven classes in one semester. He wasn't working. His social life was dead. And all he could do was focus on school. So to me, I was just like, I don't want to have a dead social life but at the same time it's just one semester and I really want to finish and not only that I don't want to pay for school I don't want to pay to take these two classes in the fall session even though I could, I could take two in the summer or I could take three in the summer and that would declare me done but you know summer session goes by really fast so I went ahead and I decided to take six I started off with seven and realized quickly that that wasn't going to work. So the six classes that I took was Senior Project, Comparison Analysis, Fundamental to Art, History to Photography, Ceramics 101, and Basic Software to Design. Whew. It was a lot just saying that. Sorry, I had to change, I had to change the memory card, my bad. So yeah, I took those six classes for spring semester. Mind you, I was still doing two jobs, so my social life was dead. Anything, like, my my life was basically in my studio, working on my art, trying to finish up any project that I had. My, my social life was cut, okay? And I don't think too many of my friends was happy about that. But you know, your girl had to do what she had to do. She had to finish school, and that was her goal. So, 
I had to just do it. You know what? I'm not even going to talk about all the classes because all of it, it'll just be too long. But I'll talk about this one class that definitely impacted my life um, and changed my view of art. Um, it's hot. Oof. Okay. So that one class that changed my view <laughs> out of all of them. All of them were really good. Don't get me wrong. All of them was really good. But there was just one class that totally like made me feel like an artist and helped me, made me realize that I am an artist. That was my senior project class. So for senior project, everyone was given a studio to work in and you had freedom into what you was gonna work on for that semester. So people worked on many different topics, different subjects. And I remember when she was going around the class and she had asked us all oh, what we were working on I don't know what made me say african-american hair texture particularly for black females but I just said it because before that I wanted to work on human sexuality I thought that would have been fun and cool to work with but for some reason I just said african-american hair texture and you know my professor you know they don't just want you to say oh it's just african-american hair texture they want you to say what about it you know get more in into it and so i had to really have a message and get my point across and this was really challenging to me because i was wondering what is my matches what am i trying to say about african-american hair texture um and how am i going to get my point across so for that whole semester i was in my studio working on getting my point across about african-american hair texture i'm not gonna talk too much about it now because i think i'm gonna make a separate video on it just because it runs really deep at least for me and i would rather just have it have its own thing but just to say like i that class changed me and i was working on a huge project where my finishing project was in a gallery and so that was another first timer thing for me um, not only to have a studio but also to have work be put in a gallery that was a big big thing for me and so i spend most of my time if i wasn't working in school coming out with my project for um senior project and working on other assignments for for work so i was a busy body guys you don't even understand how much I was doing to myself let me just finish my eyebrows so I can move on to something different eyebrows are checked all right so in the midst of all of that happening taking my six classes um, trying to keep up with assignments making sure that I have my lesson plan ready for the after school program and just trying to kind of keep up with life. I somehow came up with some time to get a full on anime sleeve which I will also make a separate video about because it's just it's so cool and it's not complete yet there's still some room for some more characters to be put on um, and I'm gonna color some characters as well but yeah you guys don't even understand how stressful it was though I also develop high levels of depression anxiety overworked I gained weight dramatically <laughs> yeah I don't know if I made it sound easy but this was not easy for me at all like it was just a roller coaster for me and so while dealing with that I was dealing with my health as well and that was slowly deteriorating but I was staying strong because I really 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 need to finish school yeah so um, to go back to what I was saying about my senior project it was also really awesome was because I had professors that helped me and guide me and I thank every single one of them for showing me the way it really did help me into basically getting my message across and I had 
at least one professor who was really strong and she definitely like pulled it out of me. We'll show you guys the finishing project here. Once again, I said I'm going to make a video about it, so you guys are going to be hearing a little bit more about it later. But yeah, she really did help me into making a very powerful piece. And I think my audience enjoyed it. And it, it made me happy to see other people understanding my message, seeing how powerful it is and enjoying it at the same time. So yeah, that's, so that's, that's that. So we are gonna go in and contour. We already started. I'm gonna use this. Is this from LA Colors again? No, this is from Shop Miss A. As class was going on and I was working and feeling depressed and everything. Look at these, aren't these brushes so cute? So cute and this is from the um, Jessica Simpson collection right I'm gonna do this to warm up the face before I actually contour contour as you may or may not know I was living with Bay in a room which was a really huge giant room this is New York City we're talking about so this is like common in New York City to live in a room so whoever owned the apartment decided to start Airbnb being the next room next to us which they weren't choosing like good people they were choosing couples that had really mental they were mental just let's put it like that. they were choosing some really mental couples the first couple I wound up calling the police on them because something was going on where the girl was crying and I he I kept hearing things being thrown around and this is the next room from us this is not like next door so usually I stay out of people business but this was horrible long story short I had to call the police and they had to get involved and it was uh, if you guys want to hear a story time about it let me know put it in the comment box below that situation was Oh. And then the next couple that came, they were so so. They were kind of okay. But the last couple that came, the last couple that came, I was over it. I was like, yo, we gotta move. We need a one bedroom apartment. We can't stay here anymore. That's it. We gotta go. I have never seen Sota. That's my bae, right? I've never seen Sota jump at someone before, but my man's was about to jump at someone. And that's when I knew that it's time for me to go because I'm gonna wind up killing someone up in here. So in the midst of taking six classes, working two jobs, trying to get my mental health together with depression, I also had to deal with crazy Airbnb roommates. So we're gonna go in again with LA Color. This is their contour stick. We're gonna darken up the, our contour. As this is happening as well, I am also trying to graduate because it's the end of the semester. So I'm trying to keep up with school, applying for graduation, looking for graduation clothes. Like it was a mess, believe me. I couldn't keep up with it. I felt like I couldn't keep up with anything. Like everything was just coming, 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 coming. The gallery was about to open. We need to move. Graduation is happening. I need a break. <laughs> I need my lesson plan plan. It it was so much that was going on, guys. You wouldn't even believe it. Like always, there's a beginning and there's an end, and I'm just so happy that I was able to walk down the aisle. Um, and graduate and not only that me and Sosa we found an apartment so this is why you're seeing a different background now um, oops my bra is over there oh wow it's gonna stay there <laughs> now we're gonna go in and just blend out that contour I don't know how people do this this is not easy to talk and do makeup at the same time girl we have issues your girl graduated she good now she ain't gotta go to school no more if she don't want to. 
I realize I like school through this whole thing though because now that I'm out of school I just can't think of what to do. The only reason I began school was because I wanted to move to Japan. But now that I'm with Sulta and things have changed, I don't even know what I should do because we just moved and I ain't moving to Japan. At least not as of right now. So we're gonna go in with the same one. And I'm also trying to get my mental health back together. Like I mentioned before, I went through a great depression um, going to school and even now it sometimes still hit me. I gained a lot of weight from it. And yeah, it was it's still not easy for me because I'm trying to keep up keep up with bills and just just life. Just life. I'm a cancer so I get very emotional a lot of times and I go through my happy periods and my sad periods and my you know, emo periods as you may call it. Is there anything else I'm missing out? So yeah, that was my whole year as of what I was doing. Like I mentioned, I am going to make a video about my anime sleeve and also about the picture that I made for the gallery. What I'm gonna do is stop talking. I can get this look down because your girl gotta work tomorrow. <laughs> She has a presentation and I'm not good with presentations, so gotta gotta get ready for it. I always like to prep myself before I actually do presentations. We're gonna take some loose powder and just sharpen up. Oh, that contour is not. You guys, why didn't you tell me this? You're just listening to me. You don't tell me anything. You gotta actually drag that up. There we go. It's a little better. Alright, we're gonna take some loose powder. Ooh. We're just gonna like clean up underneath that contour. I don't know if you guys have seen Grey's Anatomy, but I'm watching Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> like that's what keeps me happy. Besides watching like playthroughs from like PewDiePie or I think his name is Spectacle Eye or something like that. You watch playthroughs I'm just so lazy to play the game I think now is a good time to start working on the eyes so we're gonna work on the eyes right now I totally forgot what I did with the eyes this is my third time filming this video first time I got the scourge cut it off second time I wasn't I wasn't making any sense in my video I'm probably not making any sense now but this one is going up I remember I did a sunset look if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you're doing something wrong already because this look is on Instagram. So please go pause this video, go follow me on Instagram, take a look at the look, and then come back. Because I totally forgot. And I think what I'm going to do is just make up a new look. So My Instagram is in the description box below, so go take a look below. We're going to go white. We're going to use this concealer. I'm gonna put this on our eyes and then after we put this on our eyes for me what I need to do is put some setting powder and have this set because it'll still smear all over the place like my eyelids are non forgiven yo my eyelids they don't care they like we don't care if you put concealer what concealer got to do with this you still gonna crease Does anyone else going to school? I know school started, so let me know if you guys are going to school. I know how, like, stressed out. Well, it's the beginning of the school year, so it's not really that stressful in the beginning, but I know towards the middle it gets really stress stressful. And if you are going to school, are you are taking a language class? And if you are taking a language class, what language class are you taking? Um, I'm curious to know. So, yeah, let me know. Um, and if you're not going to school, what are you doing? Are you working or what's your plans? Uh, this year is about to end, so you might as well get the most out of it now while you still can, right? I don't know why. Ever since I turned like 20, I feel like years has been going past really fast. And I keep thinking like sad thoughts like, oh man, that means like soon I'm going to be 30. 
I don't know if that's a sad thing. <laughs> well, that's not really a sad thing, but I just... If you had to choose an age to stay in forever, what age would you stay in? I feel like I would stay 25 forever. As you may or may not know, I'm 27 years old, so... I am going to take this palette from Beauty Treat. I'm gonna go in with this color. It's like a pinkish, like a pinkish purple, like a beginning pink. We're gonna put that on the top. So next, with a different brush, and with this bluish color, and I might mix it in with this one, this purplish color. Next, I'm just gonna blend them in. Alright. See, it's a little dark. Right. So because I'm, I want to add more depths to this look. Depth, depth, depths. Because I want to add more depths to this look. <laughs> we're gonna go in with a darker black color, and we're just gonna put it right under here. And this is definitely gonna draw everything back. Not too much because it can quickly get muddy, but just enough that it draws it back. So now we're just going to use some more concealer. I'm just gonna carve out air. This is where we at. So now is when the fun begins. Ah, uh, the camera is dying on me so we're gonna go in with this green uh, right here this so we're gonna put that in our like corner So it looks like that. This one. We're gonna get like this orangey color and we're gonna put that in the center. So it looks like that. Kind of. Now we're gonna go in with this darkish reddish brownish color and put it on the outer <gasps> so pretty. that is so pretty and we just feathered that out like that ah it's pretty now I know my color streams are really crazy right now I'm totally just freestyling this but I don't know, it reminds me of a sunset beach look, so I'm loving it. Alright, so that is how the eyes should look. Now you can go ahead and fix up anything that needs to be fixed. So I'm going to clean hair for instance, I'm going to go in here and clean that up. Now, I'm gonna get some eyeliner. I'm gonna tighten line my eyes. I'm 
It sucks because my camera's dying. I'm trying to get this look out before it completely dies. I'm gonna get some eyeliner. We're gonna wing out our 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 lady our eyes. I can't even speak. There's always one that's different than the other. I can never get it right. Ooh, yeah, I right? I know I made a couple of um, oopsie daisies. So I'm gonna go back and fix it in a minute. I'm just gonna do my underline. I am gonna do it halfway and then stop. Okay, before we put on lashes, I'm going to fix my liner. This is like hard to do, especially when you mess up a little bit because liner is just unforgiving. And do it the wrong way, you're gonna have like a very smudged look. And no one wants to look, everyone wants to look put together. No one wants to look smudged. All right guys, so this is where we're at. We have our eyeliner on. Um, we're gonna finish up this look with highlighter and mascara and eyelashes. So we're gonna go in real quick because my camera's about to die again. Before I highlight, I'm gonna set my whole face and then I'm gonna put on my eyelashes. Okay, this is how we're looking. And then our eyelashes. Last but not least is our lips. I gotta do this really fast because the camera is trying to die on me. With this lip, I'm gonna go in with a peachy color to stay within the theme of the sunset. I'm hoping this works out. So you can do it with this look. Um, I don't think I'm gonna keep this look, this lip. I'm gonna change it to like a goldish color just because I ain't feeling it, so yeah. This is satin from LA Color. Um, it needs a tint of brown. So I'm just gonna do one swipe of this. Hold on. It's not that bad. That's cute. Kind of reminds me of that peachy color that we put on. Um, but I think it goes well with the lids. So yeah, we're gonna keep this one. You can also do a purple lip with this, but I think this looks really good. Do everything. Let me clean my piercings. And then oh, we're good to go. Right, let's take this thing off. Right. 
really fast because it's definitely about to die.